hello everyone and welcome back to server can within this video we are going to see that how to start docker compose file it means how to utilize docker compose file so just for your review i'm going to explain that we have already created this file within previous video and uh, obviously we have a couple of more files here like we have index.js we have package.js json we have docker file so if you want so you can check this file out like I have docker file when I have installed I have defined all prequest like what what should be my working dr what I want to copy and all now when I have written this docker.yml file so what it says it says that first of all ready server uh, ready server will be installed image will be ready app node will be installed or you can call it like uh, app node image will be created and obviously the image will be created out of a docker file which we have already created fine but what would happen when we were trying to start our node, con node app container so that was not able to reach out to our redis con container so what we need to do here is we need to create one connection for this so how we are going to uh, create a connection for uh, our node between our node.js and redis cluster so redis container so we are going to place two curly braces here and we are, i'm going to break it out here then first of all i will mention here host and within single quote i will mention redis hyphen server i'm going to explain uh, from where this value will come then port i will mention here 6379 so this is redis port or whatever port your redis is running you can specify it there fine so this is what i'm going to do here and that is it it means i have uh, made changes within index.js file as you can see here now what is redis server let me tell you so this redis server value is coming from uh, docker compose yaml file this is our server so as soon as request from this node container will go out so it will check and it will find that this particular file is not available anywhere or this particular host is not available anywhere then your compose will let node container know okay i have if you are trying to access this particular redis hyphen server then i have information about this so this is also one container where you can reach out okay so that is it this is what we have already done now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to run a command docker hyphen compose and build so all the changes whatever we have done here so that will build and that will tag image as well like visit underscore node hyphen app latest then after i will run a command docker comp hyphen compose then up if I run this command so it will set everything up for me and obviously it will start listening on this port so there is no error like ready server done node app server done and obviously it is listening on to the particular port which we exposed and the port was 8081 so your ready port is uh, available here and if you see so rest of applications whatever we configured so these are working fine okay so now what we are going to do here is we are going to go to our uh, obviously this container okay browser and over here i will type in localhost and i will specify port 8081 so it will say number of visits zero if i refresh so it will uh, it will keep on increasing the count so as soon as, as many as time you want to refresh it so you can because this application was uh, built just to ensure that it will it will hold the information about our node count okay once again what if i cancel this and i uh, try to refresh so it will say that it is not reachable if i hit once again docker composer so it will start the services and obviously once again this will start listening so it will begin from zero only because redis is in memory database as soon as it goes down so it will plus everything within itself because I'm not holding this information maybe within MySQL, Postgres, Oracle or any other way. Fine. So these are the things which I wanted to let you know. This is how Docker Compose works. And within next video, we are going to see that uh, what is happening in background. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to press bell icon. Thank you. Have a good time.